There was a shooting in West Asia. Everything went crazy. All these people, these grassroots people from all types of media just swarmed around us wanting that footage. She was saying, you know, just don't come here, don't come here. There's, there's something really bad wrong, we don't know what's going on, but we're in lockdown. It's an odd thing, because you can't really grasp the fact that people are actually dying. Is he shot? He's bleeding. He's fucking shot. He is bleeding. Oh my gosh. And that's when I met Martin and uh, Carl. And uh, I saw that they had a video camera and they were filming what was going on. Car, a, a police car too went up and we saw, started see, seeing a gun and just more you police cars started showing up. Because we'd seen all of these ambulances and you just never see that. You just never see like 15 ambulances going to the same place. Dropped him off, backed out as quickly as possible because shots were still being fired. Who outside of a war has a reference to something like this? So I could tell that, you know, Martin was upset. Going to, to the media was one of the best things we did, and also, of course, the worst thing we did because it became crazy. I wouldn't say that I was naive, but I had no idea what was coming. It was both, one, to just see the very spectacle of the way in which they were being portrayed in the media. All these media trucks and media vans and transmitter stations. But it obviously confirmed for me that there had been a shooting. Not really, no. The shooting wasn't real and this is not real either. The way that Blacksburg and Virginia Tech dealt with the one year anniversary, April 16, was for me very, very unexpected.